A very happy, happy morning to all my dear children. Welcome back to your computer class. I hope you have completed your chapter number two. Okay, you have completed the notes as well. Okay, I hope you have understood the chapter very well. If you are having any doubts in that chapter, you can call me. Okay, today we are going to start a new chapter. Third chapter, Features of Word 2016. Okay, let's move on. So, dear children, as we have studied in the last lecture, the uh, we have studied the word art and uh, different different uh, inserting different shapes and different word arts in word okay you know the basics of uh, what is there in word okay theek hai kuch kuch basic aapko pata hai word art install karna shapes insert karna how to add a text in shape you have studied all that in your chapter number 2 Now in chapter number three today we are first of all going to learn spelling and grammar. Now you might have noticed that when you are typing some text in Word 2016, you get red or blue wavy lines under some words. Now when we are using words, when we are at the, we are writing a paragraph in Word, we are getting a red or blue wavy lines under some words. Okay. A red wavy line underlines indicates a misspelled word. Any word that does not exist in two thousand word two thousand sixteen dictionary is marked as misspelled. This include proper names, technical terms, etc. Now, a red line, a red wavy line includes what it includes that we had made a spelling mistake. Okay, हमने कुछ एक spelling mistake की है या तो फिर वो word हमारी word की dictionary में है ही नहीं वो text हमारी word की dictionary में नहीं है Okay, that's why it is shown under the word under that word a red wavy line is being shown. Okay. A blue line underline indicates grammatical mistakes. You have to learn it, student. Red wavy line क्या indicate करती है and blue wavy line indicate grammatical mistakes. The shortcut key for spelling and grammar is F7. First, we will go through the theory. Then I will show you the practical as well. Okay. The next one is using thesaurus. Thesaurus helps to improve our vocabulary. by providing a list of synonyms words with similar meanings and antonyms words with opposite meaning for any word and the shortcut key is shift plus f7 now uh, we can improve our vocabulary also okay how we can improve we can get the list of synonyms and we can get the list of antonyms synonyms mean words with similar meaning and words with opposite meaning we can get that in word also okay and the shortcut key is shift plus f7 the next is the change case now sometimes after typing the text you may feel that you should have written important words in capital letter that is upper case or some words that are in capital capital letter should have been in lower case okay now after typing the text you may feel that humko kuch words capital mein likhne chahiye aur kuch word lower case mein likhne chahiye that is small letters now in the change case option following four options are there to change the uh, to change the case of the type text the first one is a sentence case the first character of the first word of the sentence is capitalized sentence case means jo first character hota hai hamare first word ka of the sentence is capitalized lower case all the characters are in lower case sare ke sare characters small letters mein अपर केस ऑल द कैरेक्टर्स आर रेड अपर केस मीन सारे के सारे कैपिटल लेटर्स में एंड द कैपिटलाइज ईच वर्ड द फर्स्ट लेटर ऑफ ईच वर्ड इज कैपिटलाइज मीन जो भी पहला वर्ड होगा लेटर होगा हमारे वर्ड का शुड बी इन कैपिटल एंड टूगल केस This option changes lower case characters to upper case and upper case characters to lower case. Lower case को upper case में convert करता है ना upper case को lower case में convert करता है. Okay, understood. 
the next one is the find and replace now sometimes you may need to search for a particular word or text in a document or you may need to replace a word with the another word abhi kabhi kabhar humne ek paragraph type kiya and we want to find a particular word you want to search a particular word that also we can do in the word document and sometimes if you want to replace a word with another word that also can be possible in the word document to find the find command can be used to locate a specific word or text in a document the replace command is used to replace a specific word or text in a document with another word or search okay the find command is used to locate dekhna search karna ek specific word or text in a document and replace word is used to replace ek word ko dusre word se replace karna okay the shortcut keys are here control plus f and control plus h now we will move on to the practicals okay i will show you all this in practical as well let's see okay dear students this is your word document i have here typed a paragraph for you okay now first of all we will see the spelling and grammar in this paragraph you can see the red wavy lines okay that means there are spelling mistake means ma'am ne kuch spelling mein mistakes kiye so how we will rectify it yes we will rectify it with the spelling and grammar now where is this option available it is available in the review tab okay it is available in the review tab here it is we will click on spelling and grammar okay then we will just see here the red wavy line appeared is highlighted okay now we can by clicking it here by clicking it on suggestions that it the spelling we want c o m p l e x c the red wavy line has disappeared and the word the spelling mistake has been corrected the next one is c e n t r now from here we will find the suggestion we will just click it c the spelling and grammar check is complete means there are no spelling mistakes or grammatical mistakes in our word document is it clear to you understood now if you want to find the synonym or antonym of the word i will just click here if i want to find the synonym of the word that is country okay now you can find it from here also okay or you can press the shift plus f7 or you can right click here for one second you can just right click it here and you can find the synonym from it here if i want to change it i will change from like i have changed it to nation country to nation in the same way you can do it from here also or you can press the shift plus f7 key also okay the next one is the change case now where you will find the change case in the home document now this is a paragraph i have written here for you okay this is your uh, this is your document okay if i am selecting the whole word document see i have selected the whole word document then i will click on the home tab then see here it is the option of change case it is option of change case then i will just click here if i want sentence case i will just click on sentence case if i want in lower case see all the words are in lower case and there are many red lines okay if i will i want in upper case see it's all in upper case it's all in capital letters okay and capitalize each word see the each word is being capitalized i will just click on again to the sentence case or you can choose the upper case or you can choose a lower case or capitalize each words it's up to you okay which uh, case you want to use the next one is the find and replace now what is find and replace if i want to find a particular word see i will just click it here it's there in the home tab only i will click the word okay now if i want to find for like uh, i want to find where is nation n a t i o n c it's been highlighted here maine jaise hi wahan pe navigation bar pe type kiya nation the word which i have to search it will be highlighted here 
Now, if I want to search for mountains, see it's been highlighted here. Understood? Is it clear to you how you will find a particular word? Next is the replace. Now, how you will replace it? If I want to replace nation to country, see, country. Okay. Now, replace means I will just replace that word particular where the word is or I will replace all. Means jitne bhi wo words hai mere document mein, jitna bhi, jitni baar bhi nation use ho raha hai mere word document mein, it will be replaced from nation to country. Okay, I will just replace it from nation, find next. We have finished find searching the documents. See. I will just click on replace all. Yes, all done. We have made one replacement. We have made one replacement. Okay, then we will just click on close. See here. Here the word was nation. It has been now changed to country. It has been now changed to country. Clear to you? Okay, all these topics, spelling and grammar, antonyms and synonyms, find and replace. Okay. Clear to you? Having any doubt, dear children? Good. Now, the last one is your action time. You can refer your page number 28. You have to, you have to do it in your textbook only. Now, in this action time, you have to think and answer. Okay? Which change case option should be used to format the text given in column 1 to text in column 2? Now, we have case use karna hoga so that formatting could be done in column 1 according to column 2. Okay, we have to change the case of column 1. Just observe both these columns. These options are available to you. I have explained you the options. I have explained you the change case options very well. I have shown you also. Now, you have to just stick it in your textbook. Okay. We will meet in the next lecture with something new and something interesting in word. Till then, bye-bye. God bless you.